Bro, we can't even like fix the roads without people being like, uh, actually, this build it, you want to fix our, our roads that are in a desperate situation. Also features a provision that will allow you to lower pharmaceutical prices. And guess what? I don't like that because I got paid $750,000 from medical uh, equipment uh, industry and also Big Pharma. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema, who is opposed to the drug pricing reforms in President Biden's infrastructure bill that has received, shockingly, I mean, oh man, color me surprised on this one, $750,000 in donations from the pharmaceutical and medical device industries. What? Yo, what? That's crazy. Dude, stop. That's a f***ing girl boss, bitch. That's what that is. That's called girl boss sh baby. Let's go. We need to dress Kirsten Cinema next time in like a hundred dollar uh, dress. You know what I mean? Like tax the rich more like tax this ass, baby. Let's go. That's girl power, dude. That is literally slay queen shit. Do you understand me? What's up? Buy chatters. Y'all said buy visibility. Well, now you're saying not like this. Sometimes you get the buy visibility and you don't want it. Insanity, dude. Senator Kirsten Sinema, the controversial Arizona Democrat who threatens to derail President Biden's legislative agenda, received more than $750,000. Bro, can I just, I want to like literally start bribing these motherfuckers. Like that's, God, I hate that it like goes back to literally starting a super PAC. You know what I mean? Just like a, like a socialist leftist uh, podcaster super PAC. But like, I don't want to give them money. I, I don't, I don't want them to be reelected. I want them to fucking be jailed. So I wish I could just like start a super PAC that like a bunch of powerful people to just like advocate to throw people like this in jail. Okay. I want her to be in prison. I don't want her to get money and accuse other, yeah, and then accuse other governments of corruption. I mean, other governments are corrupt. It's just that we've codified our corruption. So in a way it's like we're, more corrupt cinema told white house officials that she opposes the house and senate bills that would allow medicare to negotiate drug costs like guys i want to like i want to fucking tell you how evil this is okay so medicare negotiating drug costs would actually lower pharmaceutical prices across the board has the capacity to lower pharmaceutical prices across the board lowers pharmaceutical prices for 65 plus okay like 65 year olds voters incredibly popular provision so popular that like donald trump was advocating for a similar thing i mean his was a little bit more watered down it was like oh pricing transparency believe me whatever but like, like that would save us $450 billion over the next decade, okay? That is the biggest part of the, of the fucking pay for in the Joe Biden's $3.5 trillion spending plan. Do you understand that? Like she doesn't even want like <laughs> these people that say they're like fiscal responsibility. I care about the inflation. I care about the budget. Like, no, they don't. No, you fucking don't. You never have and you never will. And it's the same with fucking Joe Manchin. These motherfuckers that say they care about like, you know, pay fors that get the pay for will then turn around and be like, okay, maybe I don't want the pay for because I got paid for by the fucking pharmaceutical industry. None of these motherfuckers care about fiscal responsibility. The budget bill would expand child care, health care, and paid family leave and would fund programs to combat climate change, among other measures. Three House Democrats have also balked at the plan, although they have offered a centrist alternative that would drastically limit drugs are subject to the Medicare negotiation. Why? I wonder fucking why, dude. Cinema reportedly opposes that proposal as well. During her successful 2018 Senate campaign, Cinema repeatedly vowed to lower prescription drug prices and drug costs for seniors. I cannot tell you how much I fucking despise this fucking freak vermin scumbag. Words that I want to use would get me banned off this platform. Things that I things that I I, I think of would get me banned off this platform. So all I can reduce it to is just like clowning on her for wearing shitty ass outfits, and it sucks. I am severely censoring myself right now. So you think whatever you want to think when you think about Kirsten Cinema. Okay, Jordan Peterson. No, it's not like slurs. I'm not talking about like swear words. I'm talking about like what she deserves, okay? What she deserves in a just world is like the in just a fraction of the insurmountable amount of pain and suffering she continues to inflict upon her constituents and Americans in general. That is a truly just world. But we do not live in a truly just world. We live in an unjust world where Henry Kissinger is alive and Bourdain is dead. So I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like what we, stuff like this, like it gives me brain cancer, dude. When I see this stuff, it just like breaks my fucking brain. Kirsten Cinema betrayed the progressive voters who got her to where she is in the first place. Yeah, she used to also be like, Kirsten Cinema used to be a fucking like, anarchist like she was like a you know land back uh abolish america kkk uh type fucking dumpster diving anarchist and then quickly just quickly changed all of that when she went into congress like immediately it was always fake 
And a lot of those people are usually very fucking fake anyway. 100%, what is the best way for AC voters to get cinema out of office? That doesn't even matter at this point. What matters at this point is like, you're exaggerating. I'm exaggerating? Bro, are you fucking kidding me, dude? No, I'm not. You're so wrong. She literally was like, <sighs> Kirsten Cinema went from lefty activist to proud neoliberal Democrat. The Senator uh, Kirsten Cinema, a former Green Party aligned activist. She was Green Party, if that's not enough for you to like fucking, like they brought it up. Far left groups are resurfing as she campaigns to win Arizona Senate race against her re Republican opponent, Martha McSally. It's always like really ironic whenever people say that like I am like that in a pink tutu denigrating our service while we were in harm's way. Oh, here it is. This is the campaign ad. Bro, she had a dog shit fucking fashion even back then. Holy fuck. No jokes on, could you actually put aside about a half a mil in the future to make a pact to encourage cinema or mansion to vote as a leftist on an issue? Dude, you guys have baby brains if you literally think that there is such a thing that like a leftist pack. There is no amount of money that will fucking turn these people into socialists, dog. Are you fucking silly? You think I and like three other fucking leftist podcasters could combat like the Koch brothers, dude? Are you nuts? Like I was just fucking joking when I said that. Even like billionaires who have more money than God, even a singular billionaire or even two billionaires could probably not be able to effectively fight back against like capitalism if like one of them had a fucking... One of them got like struck by lightning and decided to be a socialist all of a sudden, you know what I mean? And, and wanted to like use the system and the built in, uh, the built in structures that other billionaires have put before them to like try to change the outcome. You don't have to challenge Coke to make a difference. No, but you think the pharmaceutical uh, corporations don't have a fucking larger stake in every fucking politician than like eight podcaster lefties that set up a fucking super PAC? Or even if it's, like I said, fuck us. Let's say Jeff Bezos tomorrow decides he's like a fucking, you know, he, he gets hit in the head. When he went out to space, he became like a socialist tomorrow. If he personally tried to utilize the system, the, the, the mechanism that was set before him that he also personally had a vested interest in like designing, he would not be able to single-handedly fight back against it. And that's Jeff fucking Bezos, the most powerful person on the planet. You just said she was bought for $750,000. Now no amount of money can buy her. Are you serious? Are you guys fucking stupid? It's not just the $750,000, man. Like, she's not... <sighs> Every part of this system is designed to continue the oppressive structures, okay? All the way from Kirsten Cinema getting $750,000 from pharmaceutical corporations, including like other corporations that... Other types of industry that literally have a stake in like destroying these sorts of progressive bills all the way down to the fucking like chef that works at a goddamn kitchen that's making seventy five thousand dollars a year but has a 401k so he thinks he has a vested interest in the stock market doing well all matter of our our societal formation revolves around capitalism that's why it's easier to imagine the end of the world rather than the end of capitalism Okay, you can't tackle these systems from a fucking top down approach. You can only make marginal improvements and that's still significant. It goes a long way. But the real way to do it is through organizing, through labor power, through using our numbers. You think motherfuckers couldn't match like whatever kind of uh, meager donations that like a bunch of people could put together? It doesn't work that way. The best thing you can do in the short term is put people that are not so easily bought and sold by corporate interests into positions of power if you want to exhaust the state machinations while you fucking create a round that makes it easier to organize slowly dismantling the systemic burdens and hurdles that were placed upon labor organizing in this country over the past fucking century okay that's the best thing you can do that's not a pipe dream that's the most realistic alternative for progressives leftists whoever the fuck you are you can't do anything else outside of that i mean you can do a bunch of different things obviously activism mutual aid direct action yada yada but but that is the best way forward there's nothing else that you can do we have no we have no mechanism to push back it's not quick it won't happen immediately and uh and we're just gonna keep suffering like this Here's something you can do. If you wanted to protest Kirsten Cinema, I don't suggest going to her house and picketing her house or fucking making her life a living hell. If you want to do that, I mean, hey, that's your fucking public representative. If you're upset as a constituent, I'm not going to fucking tell you not to fucking show that, okay? But the real way to do it, to rob her of her power, because there's a reason why the pharmaceutical corporations are giving her $750,000 despite the fact that she's a green senator. You know what I mean? She's like pretty new in the Senate. And that's because she sits on committees. She commands power within the Senate beyond her singular vote. So you have to remove her from committee positions. You have to threaten to remove her from committee positions. 
There's a million different fucking ways that Dick Durbin should be whipping her right now. Like literally, literally whipping the shit out of fucking Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin. Why are we not doing that? How do we get dumbass Cuck Schumer to get Dick Durbin to whip Kirsten Cinema? If you want to get into the nitty and the gritty, that's what you're supposed to do here in the short term if you want to fucking salvage the situation that we are that we are experiencing and that's precisely what we should be doing increasing the stress and pressure from the top down upon these fucking dipshits and telling him that oh you like your fucking committee positions well guess what no longer will you have any fucking singular say beyond your one vote because popularity won't do shit to them popularity will not do anything to them like kirsten cinema doesn't give a fuck about popularity bro you kidding me she's unpopular as shit dude she is deeply unpopular kirsten cinema's popularity is is has plummeted in her state i mean look no further than uh, than mark kelly mark kelly beat martha mcsally the person that kirsten cinema barely barely defeated to win a fucking seat in arizona mark kelly beat Martha McSally by wider margins than Kirsten Cinema, and he had a more progressive campaign. She cares if her constituents call her office to threaten the voter out though? No, dude, no. And plus, in a lot of instances, these people, they just want to fucking flip on a dime anyway. Like she might have a, she might have an alternative fucking way of trying to, to fund her future endeavors. She might just like flip over and go on the corporate lobbying side. You know what I mean? Probably not because you do command a lot more power in the Senate than that. But yeah, according to a July poll, Biden's approval rating among democrats was 94 mark kelly was 85 kirsten cinema is 54 among democrats how about among independents she managed to get the lowest support there too biden gets 44 percent kelly gets 45 cinema gets 40 percent yeah her fucking approval rating is dog shit and it doesn't even fucking matter it literally does not matter she is not operating for constituents she's working for kirsten cinema and this article shows that perfectly but yeah Kirsten Cinema went viral after cheerfully voting against a $15 minimum wage hike. You guys remember. Cinema doesn't have a conflict of interest that might explain her vote. According to disclosures, her only extracurricular activity is a $25,000 a year adjunct teaching job at a local university. Well, she also got like a uh, paid. She she did a fucking paid internship at a winery too, right? But anyway, whatever. Who consistently ranks amongst the least wealthy members of Congress appeared to pair her journey up with her political ladder with a windfall in her own personal fortune. All leftist activists eventually evolved to champagne Democrats. Yeah, totally, dude. I know. That's why Bernie Sanders champagne democrat dude we don't even have like there is no there is no real and legitimate fucking uh uh leftist organizing within the party or uh, or within the electoral system until recently or they used to be one and it completely went away post 9 11 and even before then and now it's only now it's getting back she was soon plunged into bitter poverty when the recession that closed out a decade of product put her, put her out of a job she would often tell audiences the family lived on for years in a converted gas station with no running water or electricity in later years she would add a boost traffic moral to the story assigned of the work ethic that with a little bit of help anyone can get to the top in america oh yeah it's just slowly but surely fucking changing her uh, rhetoric uh she channeled her concern for the poor and downtrodden into political activism and idealistic young cinema work for ralph nader's 2000 green party bid which she saw as the start of a decades-long movement for change she worked with fucking ralph nader dude using arizona's public financing law i don't believe in accepting money in exchange for votes that's bribery she ran as an independent for phoenix city council Pointing to the lopsided distribution of wealth that left poor immigrant families with no safety net, calling for better education and comprehensive health care coverage and improved child care and mental health coverage. She spent 2003 protesting the Iraq war back when doing so was literally violently unpopular, protesting outside of a campaign stop in Tucson for Senator Joe Lieberman's presidential campaign run. And now she's literally Joe Lieberman. Like she is our generation, our version of Joe Lieberman in this Congress. Any advice for Arizona voters? We see cinema on the ballot with someone like McSally again. It was such a headache for me last time. There is no alternative there either. Like there's just no fucking alternative. Unless you have someone that's going to run against her, like you just have nothing. Like you have no alternative for Kirsten Cinema. This is just the way the system is fucking designed. And a lot of people scream about like harm reduction and they say harm reduction, harm reduction, harm reduction, bullshit. Harm reduction is bullshit. It's like, okay, if we have someone to run in her stead, if we have someone to run against her, then yeah. But that's why it's like so, that's why I feel so fucking fatigued and disillusioned and or I just like don't care. And when I don't care, people get mad at me. Like liberals, they get mad at me. They say, you don't care about the future of America. Like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, dude, it's just because like my voice does not matter. It's so hard to fucking urge people to go out and vote. When in fact, like I know that certain areas are just not going to improve no matter what. You just hate America. I really do, man. I really do. I, I, I just hate like I love America because of the Americans that live in it. And I fucking hate America. I mean, let me tell you something. I'm looking outside right now. It's dark as fuck outside in the middle of the day. It's 81 degrees and sunny here in California. Do you know? Do you want to know why it's dark as fuck outside? 
when it's 82 uh, degrees and sunny because of wildfires dude non-stop fucking wildfires so now it's brown as shit outside and there's nothing we can do about it the smoke is making it uninhabitable beautiful day nothing we can do about that just nothing it's not going to change we can't even get fucking pg and e to like update their infrastructure we give money to them to do so, and then they just don't do it. What are you going to do? Same with fucking Kirsten Cinema. What are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do? What, what, what can you do? Nothing. And it's just so, it's so frustrating, man. It just sucks. Here, I mean, great example. Here, here. Let's, let's do it. Another fucking instance where it's like, Jen Psaki. So what he has asked all of us to convey clearly to people who are understandably have questions, are passionate, are concerned as we are about the images that we have seen is one, we feel those images are horrible and horrific. There is an investigation. The president certainly supports overseen by this, the Department of Homeland Security.